if women have their Kikai kits, I have some sort of techie gadget kit. And this is it. And what we'll be doing today is we're going to take a look at what's inside, take a look at the gadgets inside, and maybe help you guys make your own some sort of gadget kit in the future. Before we get to taking a look at what's inside this gadget kit, please do subscribe to the channel. Just hit subscribe button to be able to have all of your essential electronics and gadgets in one small pack so that when you travel or when you just change bags or whatever, it's always there. This is actually inspired by another YouTuber whose name is Your Average Consumer. I'll link his channel down below. You might want to take out, check out his tech kit as well. Uh, because this is actually inspired by what he has. So let's start with the actual pack or kit. Now this one is actually from Lower Pro. This is the Lower Pro CS60. Uh, this is actually made for action cameras. So for your GoPros and whatnot. And then all of the other accessories that are inside it. Now this is a soft padding. I didn't get, go for the hard case type of uh, packs because they take up too much space and they're a bit too hard and not as flexible as soft padding cases but the material is actually very sturdy very tough it's weather water resistant shock proof so if you drop it it should be able to protect what the gadgets are inside so what's so nice about it uh, if you open it up take a look at inside uh, you have versatile velcro adjustable things which will allow you to put different kinds of gadgets in different sizes inside so you can actually customize this to whatever it is that you want to put on this particular side here you have a slot for sd cards or whatever small size stuff that you want to put and you open this up and you have like a wire mesh that you usually get from the grid stuff uh, you know those grid plates that are being sold in various stores and then you can put all sorts of cables and, and whatever accessories here you also have a mesh pocket here where you can put USB or whatever stuff that you want I happen to have like a microfiber cloth here uh, and a lot a bunch of USB sticks for easy storage and access he sells for around little over 1,500 pesos you can get from Green Hills or from different stores and what we'll be doing now is we'll be taking a look at all of the individual gadgets that's in this pack and maybe it will help you guys make your own some sort of gadget kit in the future the first one we're going to take a look at is the Logitech X50 wireless speakers. This one sells for anywhere from 1,200 to 1,300 pesos. And for me, this is one of the best value for money, a wireless portable speakers that you can get today. It's sturdy, it's not that big, it's very portable, picks in the pack, and it actually gives you a loud, loud output of audio once you pair it to your device. It also comes in different colors. It's very easy to operate. You just have to turn it on, pair it with your device, and then off your go to play whatever music that you want to do. Should be able to fill up like a small to medium-sized living room, uh, but don't expect like major sound stage uh, for it. But in terms of volume and minimal distortion, you can get it with this one. So again, it sells for just 1,200 to 1,300 depending on where you look. I'll put a link down below on where you can get it from Lazada at 1,200 pesos. Again, this is the Logitech X50. I forgot exactly what this is called, uh, but I did show this in my previous video and it is being sold in Beyond the Box and Power Max Center. So what this basically does is this is the thing that you put on top of your MacBook uh, charger, uh, the MagSafe charger thingy, and then it replaces the, the, the outlet plug. So you just slide this in and what happens is this becomes the actual plug that you use with the MacBook charger. So what's nice about this is that if you travel a lot, it gives you all the ports that you would need uh, regardless of whatever country you're in. So once you have this, you're pretty much set when you are a frequent traveler. Apart from being able to plug your MacBook, it also has four USB ports that allow you to charge various devices that you want to charge that are with you. So again, this is actually everything you need. It's a built-in extension cord of some sorts because right now, most of the things that you would need to charge when you're out and about are really two things, your MacBook or your laptop, and obviously uh, any mobile gadgets that you would have that would require a USB connection. So again, this one I think sells for a little oh, less than 1,500 pesos. Uh, works wonders. I had this during my trip in Google I.O. and Mobile World Congress. Highly recommend this one for all of you who are using MacBooks. 
obviously we need power banks and this one is the one from lander it's not that big it's i think roughly around 7000 or probably less milliampers uh, but again like what i mentioned before i'm not a fan of giant power banks because they take up too much space and besides i use an iphone 7 plus uh, which already has pretty good battery life so i just need a uh, one or two extra power banks that can give it a full charge so this one small easy to carry on doesn't look too bad uh, actually pretty spiffy looking so sells for a little over 2,000 pesos at digital walker beyond the box stores but i would recommend that you just guys just get whatever power bank that you want uh, and stuff it in your power kit what or gadget kit what's important is that you have a fully charged power bank always and ready at your disposal especially when you're traveling or when you're out and about uh this is actually something that i picked up from power max center I, I'm, I'm sorry i forgot the name what it's called um, but it's really actually pretty nice what you do um it, it's composed of two things it's a it's a cleaning liquid inside and when you spray it uh, it produces the liquid and this one the blue cloth that you see around the body this is actually made from microfiber cloth so you actually just spray and then you wipe it with this entire contraption itself this is the big one the big one sells for around 700 pesos so it's very expensive for something to clean your phone but there is a smaller one that sells for less than i think 400 uh, same in power max center so if you have a lot of budget if you want something nice to clean your device check this out if you don't have that much then just bring microfiber cloth and some sort of liquid to clean your device with you next we have a clicker i do a lot of presentation so i always make it a point to carry with me a clicker so that i won't have to keep on going to the laptop to press the space bar or the right click to be able to just have the slides move forward this one is from genius got it from sale in green hills i think i got it for less than 800 pesos very nice works with the mac works with windows uh, all you have to do is put in batteries remove the usb plug here plug it to your macbook and then you're good to be able to do presentation so again uh, genius media pointer 100 sells for less, less than 1000 just shop around in green hills but if you can find this one uh, logitech has a lot of really nice point uh, clickers and pointers that you can get for less than a thousand pesos just shop around you should be able to find one Next, the only non-gadget thing in my gadget kit is actually a uh, hand sanitizer. Yeah, so um, got it from my wife, make it a point to always use it. Very nice, and since we have a lot of cats here in the house, uh, if I touch them and I put it on my, uh, my hand on my eye, I usually get allergies. So this is very useful for me, um, but I still highly recommend that you guys check it out and get one for yourself. Doesn't have to be branded or expensive, just make sure you have one in your bag. Now we go to the par portion at the back of the bag which had all of the cables. I'll show you what are the ones that I have. I have here an adapter lightning uh, to the audio jack. Um, you guys know I use an iPhone 7 Plus, doesn't have an audio. So if I need to use a wired earphones, I have to use this one. Annoying, but Apple removed the headphone jack so we have to live with it. Next, if I want to present with the iPad Pro or with the iPhone, I have a lightning adapter uh, which allows me to plug it into a VGA projector. So next we have the usual adapter for the MacBook which allows you to be able to connect to a projector again for my job absolutely essential absolutely critical what i would do by the way is i would recommend that you guys label it with your name i haven't done so because it's a new one because i just lost the one that i had before so i probably bought probably more than 10 of these in my lifetime so if you guys are into presentations make sure that you label your adapter so you don't lose them as often as i do next we have a cable uh, for charging and data transfer now this one is very of very simple this one has a lightning adapter and if you put it out it becomes micro usb so i would recommend that you guys get something like this this one i got from yell uh, at a discount less than 1000 but you should be able to find similar ones in various stores uh, in the malls and that's it for my gadget kit i highly suggest you guys make one for yourselves it doesn't have to be as expensive as this one you can obviously get uh, cheaper kits or packages that you can get from various stores and malls but i would recommend that you guys look for something like this because it's really nifty protects all of your stuff uh, and it's just really nice to look at what i'm thinking is i'll like put stickers stuff like this to personalize it so that it's more mine than a generic case for action cameras so that's it for this episode hope you guys like it please do give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and please do stay tuned for the next content or the next video coming soon to you in a few days peace